A big hello to everyone and a big hello to all my new subscribers. Today I have another 12x12 12 12 layout and this one is all about my husband. So as you can see from the pictures, it is going to be a very male layout. So the very first thing I did was I went through my photos and I tried to decide which one I was going to use. And I landed up choosing this one mainly because I like the smile on his face. Once again, I'm using the Kayser Craft Factory 42 collection. My main background paper that I'm going to use is this one here. It's called Assembly Line. And I just thought that it was very appropriate for my husband. I don't know if I mentioned before, but he is a plumber. And I just thought that these papers really reflected him. Now I wanted to play with my layering style. It's layering papers behind my photos is something I really struggle with. I dived into my box of scraps of papers that seems to ever be growing and I pulled out the brown folder and anything that would probably go with these papers. I wanted to give this layer a, a very masculine look as you could probably understand and so I went into tearing the paper instead of cutting it with my paper trimmer as I normally do. Now I know I make it look really easy on this layout but trust me this took me a very long time finding the papers, ripping them and trying to see if I like the composition. But you know what, practice makes perfect so the more I layer hopefully the easier it will get. I really do like the layering look but for some reason I just find it really hard to do. So as you can see the photo is of my husband and it was taken at a festival we were at and for some reason I just really really like these photos of him. He's not actually looking at the camera, he's looking away probably at the dancing girls and that's why he's got that smile on his face. But I really like these photos and once I saw it I thought yes I'm going to scrap them. Or maybe it's the fact that he's away and I'm home alone and he's taken the kids down to see his family that I'm missing him and I wanted to scrap him. Who knows? But the fact is I'm scrapping my husband, something I don't really do a lot of. The next paper to catch my eye was this one here, still from the Factory 42 collection. And it is called Plans, but I used the B side of it because I really love this brick pattern there. So what I did was to keep in theme with the ripping I just used my nails as a guide and I just ripped around all the bricks. This layout for me came together very very quickly. I can normally spend a, a day on a layout really because I leave it for a couple of hours, I go back, I oom, I arm. Um, I sort of scrapbook in stages. I walk away and then I come back and I see if I like it because sometimes I really really get stumped. So here I am using the embellishment pack that came with the kit and I love those pipes because as I mentioned he is a plumber so I do use the pipes but I struggle with the fact that they were white but you will see later on how I fix this. So I'm taking out all the gears and everything and I did play around with it for a while and then I went through looking through my wooden embellishments just to see what I had for a title and I had no idea what I was going to call this but I thought well hello was there and I felt like saying oh yeah hello you're away at the moment. So in the end the title ends up being hello my crazy love. Now what I'm working on here is the branding strip from one of the papers and I didn't like that it was white so I'm just using my distress um, stains or whatever they call it the sprays and I am using it to colour in the pipes into a more acceptable colour for me so instead of white I want I went with this it's vintage photo the colour anyway of the distress stain and I also coloured in the words which have disappeared at the moment because I tried to make them work and I couldn't make them work as it was so I just put it aside and moved on I'm putting some diamantes on the on these ge gears here and they were part of the kit, so I like to keep a kit all together, not that I have many, but I think I'm going to get more into kits once I use up my huge stash of paper. I really didn't like that my words didn't pop because of the, well, what are they called, wooden embellishments that they are. And so I'm just using some embossing, it's not embossing powder, what's that thing called, the Versamark ink. Anyway, this is the range of Vers Versamark ink. 
and I just dip it in there and then I'm using some embossing powder in black it is the Rangers black embossing powder and yeah just heat emboss it and I really like the pop that that has and how it all ties in with the layout on my desk there was a scrap of little paper of black and I thought oh I've added a pop of black somewhere so as you saw I just ripped a two little sections from the sides there, one at the top and one at the bottom, and then I tucked in that little bit of black just to tie it in a bit with the title. I really, really like this layout for some reason. I'm actually going to contemplate buying a frame for it and hanging it on my wall, mainly because I really love the photo of my hubby. I just like that smile of his. So I think this one's going to go on my wall and not in my scrapbook. The rest of the paper was looking a bit too clean for my liking so with my Distress Spray Stain in Vintage Photo I am going to add some splatters. And then I saw this gear and I thought oh I'm going to put a little cluster there just to add a bit of dimension and a little little, what is it, that little grey circle there just says I love you. And here I'm just dipping my paintbrush into the Vintage Photo's this Distress Stain and I just like to blend all the bits and pieces of paper all together and by just going around them it just sort of makes everything blend or make the transition between all the papers smoother. Anyway, it's just a personal preference. Um, a lot of people don't do it, it's just something that I like to do. So here we go at the end. Wow. Anyway, thank you all so much for sticking around. If you haven't already done so, I would love it if you subscribe to my little channel. I am trying to grow it so I hope to get to 500 subscribers. Well, one day soon.